Now that you're ready to use your Bullet Blender homogenizer, I'm here to tell you about some basic guidelines to follow so that you get the most out of your instrument. First, what are the types of samples that you can homogenize in the Bullet Blender? The Bullet Blender can be used for the lysis of any cultured cells and for the homogenization of organ tissues, plant tissues, and small organisms such as insects, nematodes, or zebrafish. The Bullet Blender can also be used for special applications, such as the extraction of viable cells from samples. For a list of protocols and applications, please see our website, www.nextadvance.com. What types of tubes can you homogenize your samples in? The BBX24 model Bullet Blenders can be used with standard, conical bottom, snap cap microcentrifuge tubes. Make sure that your tubes are made out of high quality polypropylene. We recommend using Eppendorf safe lock tubes since they are extremely durable and they seal very tightly. Depending on the size and density of your sample, you may want to use two milliliter tubes. In this case, we recommend using Eppendorf safe lock brand. Other two milliliter tubes may not hold up as well. The Bullet Blender Storm should be used with 1.5 milliliter Eppendorf safe lock tubes. BBX24W model bullet blenders were designed to be used with conical bottom screw cap microcentrifuge tubes. Use either Oxygen brand or Corning brand 1.5 milliliter screw cap tubes. The Bullet Blender 5 uses Oxygen brand 5 milliliter self standing tubes. When using these tubes, make sure that the cap is screwed on as tightly as possible. The Bullet Blender 50DX uses 50 milliliter self-standing oxygen tubes or corning tubes. Make sure that the tubes you're using have plug seal caps. You can tell if the cap has a plug seal if there is a circular indentation on the top of the lid. This type of cap creates the tightest seal. Also, when using the Bullet Blender 50DX, make sure that the tube is placed inside of a protective sleeve prior to loading it inside of the instrument. What are the sizes of samples that you can homogenize in the Bullet Blender? The recommended sample size range for the Bullet Blender microcentrifuge models is 10 to 300 milligrams. We recommend a maximum total volume of 1.2 milliliters in 1.5 milliliter tubes and 1.5 milliliters in 2 milliliter tubes. This total volume includes the sample, the beads, and the buffer. The recommended sample size range for the Bullet Blender 5 models is 100 milligrams to 1 gram. We recommend a maximum total volume of 3.5 milliliters in 5 milliliter tubes. The recommended sample size range for the Bullet Blender BB50DX models is 100 milligrams to 3.5 grams. We recommend a maximum total volume of 20 milliliters in 50 milliliter tubes. How many beads? and how much buffer should you add to your samples. When homogenizing your samples in the Bullet Blender, using the optimal ratio of samples to beads to buffer will help to make your homogenization as efficient as possible. As a general guideline, use a volume of beads approximately equal to the volume of your sample. Then add an amount of buffer that is approximately twice the volume of the beads. If you're using bead lysis kits, Add your sample to the appropriate tube, then add a volume of buffer that is approximately twice the volume of the beads. For more specific information about the amounts of beads and buffers to use with your sample, please check out our protocol page at www.nextadvance.com.